Thank you for joining for MicroStrategy demo. We're going to discuss about the various roles that you can actually perform on a MicroStrategy. So when you're working on a MicroStrategy, you can work as a MicroStrategy architect or MicroStrategy developer. A MicroStrategy architect will enable you to create a new projects and modify the structure of existing MicroStrategy projects. So whenever you design your logical model or the physical model, you have to you have to replicate that model within the MicroStrategy environment, and that's what has always been done by the MicroStrategy architect. You access the MicroStrategy architect functions from the MicroStrategy desktop or a developer interface. So whenever you or whenever you have installed your MicroStrategy, it has a desktop or a developer interface through which you can do your entire MicroStrategy architect design. As an architect, a MicroStrategy, a MicroStrategy architect will enable you to perform the following. It will help, uh, you have to initially populate the metadata and you have to create the schema objects. So if you're working as an architect, uh, primarily you have to, you know, fulfill these two functionalities, these two roles. First, you have to populate your metadata that would be configured with your server and you have to create all your required schema objects. So when we say that you have to initially configure the metadata, what exactly metadata does is that metadata is something as a central repository which stores all your information, all the definition of your MicroStrategy objects. So whatever the things you do, whatever the development you do, all its corresponding definitions are recorded in metadata. So if, you give, if I give you an example over here, if I try to run a report from MicroStrategy, let's say regional revenue, okay? So whenever I run this particular report, first thing that it's going to do is it's going to come to the MicroStrategy metadata read the definition like okay how this region object is mapping to which column and the table this revenue as an object is pointing to which table and column and based on that it's going to formulate your SQL when I see a SQL it's the structure query language which will be uh, created by the metadata that can be fired at the database to fetch the required data so as a MicroStrategy metadata the primary function is to you know read all the definition, formulate the SQL. And once my SQL has been ready, it's going to fire at the data warehouse to get back the data or to fetch the required data. So as a MicroStrategy architect, you need to make sure that you configure your MicroStrategy metadata correctly so that it will really help, uh, help to create the SQL, correct SQL, which in turn will give you the correct information. So we have listed down about the, what kind of a MicroStrategy objects do you really going to see under this uh, under the environment. Something is called as a schema objects, application objects. A schema object is something which have been created by as a MicroStrategy architect. So there are various uh, objects which have been listed over here like attributes, facts, hierarchies. So these are various kinds of schema objects. So to tell you about the schema objects are the objects in MicroStrategy which are directly mapped to your tables and the columns. So okay, in my data warehouse, I will have all the tables and the columns. And to make sure you design your model within the MicroStrategy environment, you have to create your schema objects. So apart from configuring the metadata, you have to even define your schema objects. And the schema objects are something which will be directly mapped to your database tables and the columns. This, these are the two roles which are going to be performed by the MicroStrategy architect. Thereafter, the role of MicroStrategy developer comes into the picture. MicroStrategy developer has to perform, has to create various application objects, or you can even say as various public objects. So, like you have to create multiple uh, filters, templates, metrics, consolidation, custom groups, prompts, searches, and so on. So. These are the application objects which does not refer directly, which are not directly mapped to the tables and the columns, but instead they're going to use the schema objects for their definition. So to for the application object development, you really have to use the schema objects under the uh, whatever the definition that you have that you want to define over there. So if in case I'm creating a filter, I have to create. I have to use the attributes to 
define the definition. So the application object development is something that is going to use the schema objects within the definition. And once that's been done, as a developer, finally, I have to create the report documents at the dashboards, which would be accessed by my end users to analyze the data. So as a micro strategy, you, uh, uh, there are two, uh, at, the, at the broader level, there are two roles that can be performed. One is the architect role and the other is the developer role. Architect role, primarily you have to uh, populate the metadata and you are responsible for creating all kind of a schema objects. Schema objects are something which are directly masked to the tables and the columns. Once that's been done, the role of micro strategy developer comes into a picture. As a micro strategy developer, you have to create all kind of uh, application objects which would be using the schema objects for the definition. And once that's been done, finally, as a developer, you will be creating the various kinds of reports, documents, and dashboards. So this is all about the micro strategy, architect, and developer role. Thank you so much for joining us.